Welcome into another edition of Talking Baseball, specifically Texas Tech Baseball with Jamie and Gus here on Double T 97.3. Yesterday we talked catchers. Today we'll preview the first base position for the Red Raiders. We saw lots of options at catcher yesterday. Feels like the same way with pitcher, or excuse me, yep. with first baseman, Gus. Yep, I agree. I think obviously the one name that's probably at first base that isn't at catcher is Gavin Cash, and he's a University of Texas transfer. I actually started one of the games here in Lubbock last March. Uh, left-handed hitter, big big kid, handles the side defensively, but I think you know th- that position is going to come down to who hits and. Cash is a strong kid, hits balls mm-hmm. a long way. and uh, Had a great summer. Yeah, a great yeah, summer out in California. Did. Playing out in California with mm-hmm. Brome and those guys, and Ryan Brome's another guy that can probably play first. You see Brome run around more in the outfield. Of course, we know Hudson White. Uh, uh, Bazell seems to work a lot more at third than first, but I'm mm-hmm. sure he's part of that picture as well. And then the other one that I've seen over there, Damian Bravo, who's a freshman, kind of a two way guy. You know, Jamie, I don't think it's any surprise. I think that position comes down to who hits. I remember a few years ago, it's been a while, but <laughs> after Eric Gutierrez graduated, talking to Tim Tadlock one day and saying, you know, what, what are you looking for in a first baseman <laughs> over there? What do, you, what do you want to see in a first baseman? His response to me was, a guy who hits the ball out of the ballpark and drives in a <laughs> yeah. lot of runs. <laughs> so clearly it's about can they hit yeah, sure. and they, he'll find a spot for somebody to stand over at first. And yep. so that's kind of what you're looking for with those guys. Hudson White, we talked about yesterday at catcher. He's mm-hmm. going to see some time there. Gus mentioned him. And I felt like as the season went along mm-hmm. last year, he got a lot better defensively. Yep, I agree. And, and it, it's funny to see. Huddy and uh, Hudson White and and Bazell work a lot in the fall ball and even this time of year also at third and so how all that's going to play together uh, you know if all those guys hit they may all be out there at the same time you know at different spots sure. but um, I, I think they're all capable and like you said Hudson White's a good athlete this time last year we hadn't seen him in a tech uniform yet but what we knew was high school quarterback you know, just an interesting skill set. The other guy who will play some at first, and he played some innings there last year, is Ty Coleman. Yep. And so, you know, Ty being over there as an infielder with his instincts, and sure, you know, he's a hundred years old, but he's he's still got <laughs> one more year of eligibility left. <laughs> All right. Well, just like the catcher position, a lot of good options for Coach Tadlock uh, to look at over there at first, and uh, it's definitely going to be a position of whoever has the hot bat is yeah. probably going to yeah. be out there playing first base. So there's a look at the first baseman. We'll get to the uh, middle infielders as we move along next. Thanks for joining us here on Talking Baseball on Double T 97.3.